God damn it. No, God damn it. When the imposter is sus, oh my gosh. Oh. Among us. Valkyrie Ray is one of the best. Rock! Oh. Yeah. You know what? Ray and Cool. Yo, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. Is this the one I think it is? Ray, is this the Babushka one? Alright. I know you like killing, right? Mm -hmm. If you see someone you want to kill, just yell out their name and I'll do it for you. Wait, <laughs> really? Wait, really? <laughs> it is! <laughs> oh, I love this so much. Oh, well, golly gee, Willikers. When the imposter is. No, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, don't, okay, it's a boy, right, Ray, it's a boy, it's a boy. Ray, okay, okay. If it weren't for them, the only people playing would be like teachers just learning about it in school. Okay. Hey, look, it's John. Oh, hey, hey. John. What's up? Babushka! Oh! No! What the f Why? Are you, Are you kidding you me? Why that to me? <laughs> They're the only reason Among Us is still a thing, let's be honest. I feel like a lot of offline people were like around. Like that's like what their friend groups called like offline TV and friends. But I feel like Valkyrie was like a new addition that came out like pretty recently. I, mean, I never knew of her before the like quarantine started and then she just blew up like crazy. How do you think Valkyrie grew her audience so fast? Well, overall, I think her herself, her personality that she brings also, uh, the fact that she does so many collabs with so many different people, like with Offline TV, uh, Ludwig, Corpse, and Saikuno, that whole giant group, I'd say, they make great content together. Yeah, she has like a really cool personality and she's also like playing like the biggest game of like this year and like the end of last year. And so like, I think a combination of that, like just like helped her boom. Hey guys, it's Sierra, React producer. Before we get into the rest of the video, we just wanted to take a second really quickly to give a huge shout out to Surfshark for supporting our channel. Surfshark is a VPN or virtual private network that encrypts all of the information sent from your computer to your internet so that nobody can steal all your personal data. Very important. This is especially useful if you're using public Wi-Fi and it really sets your mind at ease while you're traveling abroad. But what a lot of people don't know is that a VPN can actually be used for so much more than just security. If you're like me and you've already binged through all your favorite TV shows, Surfshark can unlock 15 Netflix libraries from around the world and give you access to so much more awesome content. Surfshark is also the only VPN that allows you to use just one account on any number of devices. If you want to try it out, then use our code REACT for an 83% discount plus three months free, and there's no risk to try it out because there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. To get started, click that link down in the description below. All right, guys. Back to the episode. Valky Ray actually signed with a hundred thieves, and now Drake and Justin Bieber's manager, Scooter Braun, are part owners. So, you know, they're going all out. And I'm just gonna show you what I mean by them going all out for their creators. We have officially moved into a brand new home, brand new estate. Yeah, it's quite the upgrade. This is my room. This is quite quaint and cute. That's like sick that they like go all out for these people. Like, I have stuff over here. Oh. I have my piano. This oh, yeah. is my spare bed. It's okay. a prison bed. This is not a prison bed. In case I want to wake up early or stay up late, I have a bed here if I want to stay here because I have another place oh. that's five <laughs> minutes away. So this is where I do all of the work stuff. Yeah, but what do you do with like that many screens? I use three monitors myself when I stream, so it's pretty useful. Small bathroom over here and um, I really like it, but it's the perfect, perfect uh, space. And the marble, the black, the black interior. Oh, so nice. What do you guys think about content houses? I think it's a great space for people to collab. It brings out a different kind of energy that you can't get uh, just through like online, um, like via Zoom and all. But if you guys are all in the same space sharing ideas, I think it could be a really great idea. And that's how people end up growing so much. I think it's fun when it's not TikTok. Because if you're live streaming, it makes sense to have a house with a bunch of people who do overall the same sort of live streaming thing where you need other people in other rooms. It's a better dynamic when it comes to uh, houses like that. With say even 100 Thieves, offline TV being like one of the biggest. It's fun that way, it's better. TikTok isn't known for dances, but the pop popular people on it do dances and that's their main demographic. Nothing wrong with that. It's just most people when they want to be entertained, they don't watch that sort of stuff. But streaming is a whole different issue. Streaming is a lot better in general. It's different content. You do different things. You have a lot more fun. So you've seen Bucky Ray's room in the 100 Thieves content house, but she also vlogs on our main channel and we're going to take a look at a small compilation of her vlogs that also includes an apartment tour. Hello. Hi. I need to do this really quickly because
because I told you guys I was gonna do an apartment tour. I'm a mess. I just, okay, I'm just gonna get right, right into it. Okay, so uh, here is the front door. As you come inside, and this is what you see. There's the hallway. Here's a bunch of my stuff that I bring to the Heart of Thieves house. And then this is the master bedroom, a walk-in closet which is full of Michael's stuff because all of my stuff is at the Heart of Thieves house. So we pretty much live five minutes away from the Heart of Thieves content house. So my office and all of my stuff is over there. That's why it's uh, pretty empty here. Uh, Ray sits in this chair. Yeah. And then we pick up the chair. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, show us like how flexible you'd be to pull your head back. Like, oh no. Oh. <laughs> wait, wait. The problem no. with that is that your neck. <laughs> What's fine? What's that? No, no, no. I already signed my last No, but you, no, 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 no. <laughs> I like that she gets nice and personal with her fans. It's not all just about the gaming. She also has a different aspect to her content. I think that's definitely like why people are enjoying gaming a lot right now. You get to see like more of the person themselves instead of just like how good they are at video games, you know what I mean? Look, if you're really good at a game, go for it. Don't talk. Just it, just play the game. People want to see it for that. But you have to be entertaining, out of the box, something that people haven't seen before. That's why people like Valkyrie, like Ludwig, have really blown up quite recently. Do you think that since she has a great personality, that's why her vlogs do so well? Most people want to stick to like one niche, but she continues to post a variety of content. Do you think that's been working for her? And do you think it's her personality that makes her vlogs do so well? She has a lot to offer. People want to watch her like everyone has said like her personality is super shining biggest thing to have like a great loud personality when you're playing and I think stepping away from gaming just a little bit and involving her outside life to YouTube and all her fans that can help them connect and enjoy her content even more she's also like genuinely good at like the games that she plays if she was like horrible but she only had like a good personality like she could just make vlogs if she wanted to but it's nice to see somebody who like has a great personality enjoys the games that they're playing and like is actually good at them finally we have one more series that Valky Brain made called Rated Reactions. Any Twitch streamer like going through their Reddit is like amazing, but like Valkyrie stuff, hilarious. Let's solve this with science. Oh yeah, she is pretty short. Oh yeah, she's like, <laughs> yeah. The joke is like she's like four foot something, but she's actually like five foot something. You sure she's not three foot? What the heck? I don't, how do you know this? <laughs> Lines up perfectly with what Celine says. We're gonna get a measuring tape and I will re-measure. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Brooke AB height, about five foot two inches. No way I'm five foot one. I just don't think I am. I, and look, she's leaning, her head's <laughs> tilting. This is not accurate measurements. You guys are posting your quote unquote <laughs> roof. Look at this line. It's not even straight. <laughs> the audacity. Ray should measure herself on stream to settle this. Yes, I will. I bought this just for this moment. <laughs> Holy <sh> <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. Whenever it comes to a popular streamer and they lie about their height, people really want to know how tall they are. It says four foot nine. I'm guessing three foot three. A few years ago, we did this thing at um, Jackson. You were there, I think, at the YouTube thing that we we hosted a meet and greet. Everyone always like came up to us and they were like, "You are so much shorter than we thought you guys would be." <laughs> Like, you have no perception of how tall we are. We are in this little box for you guys. We're sitting down, and like, you're just like, I don't know how tall he is. <laughs> yeah, we're sitting down. But yeah, I mean, like, people are interested for that. I'm 6'4", nobody guesses that, I mean. Before we go, we mentioned how Valky Ray really, like, stepped into her moment in 2020. One of you guys said how she actually won Content Creator of the Year, and she also is the most viewed female streamer of 2020 as well. Not only did she hit 1 million in 2020 and 2 million in 2020, but that's when she reached her 3 million uh, subscriber milestone on YouTube. So so she did all of that in one year. What do you think it is just about her as a whole, like her personality, her content, like what about her exploded her like that? Like why do you think she just had her best year? I think personally, her personality is so great for streaming. It really fits her. Her streaming on Twitch during quarantine, everyone's stuck inside, it's great. Then putting her VODs and clips onto YouTube, making more views there. Because people are watching over there, it moves over to back to Twitch, getting her more views, more subscriptions, more followers. Overall, it's just, a great system 
uh, for Valkyrie. It, it just it just so happens to work as well as her amazing personality. It just all fits together. Jack, she's not on Twitch anymore. God damn! Oh my god! Oh! I love seeing her 900 IQ moments on my YouTube recommended. Is there anything you would like to say to Valkyrie? Keep doing what you're doing, girl. Valkyrie, if you are watching this, I love you so much. Valkyrie, seriously, the growth you made in 2020 and going into 2021, and overall just an amazing personality, you've made a great name for yourself. I just want to say keep up the great work. You're fantastic. Thanks for watching this episode of Teams React. If you like this episode, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. What other creators would you want us to react to next? Tell us in the comments. Bye. Hey guys, it's Sierra. Thanks so much for watching this episode. Hey, if you want to get a notification every time we post an episode so you never miss one, then click that notification bell down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Okay, bye guys.